It's like he wasn't performing, like he legit became another person. Throughout, like, even when the camera cut off, you would see, like, in yeah, the documentary, yeah. like, he would still be this, he'd still be in character. Yeah. So that's what was, like, fascinating, is that they really get People got annoyed by him, but they're just like, ugh, oh, yeah. that's too caring. I'm gonna start it off with this, and this is pretty much the first question right off the bat, and it's kind of like, I haven't, we, again, like we both said, we haven't hung out in a while, um, or I haven't hung out with a lot of you guys in a while. Um, Better not just be me. Yeah, no, it's, it's a lot of those guys. Um, but one, no, one question that I always have, and I asked Marvin, and he like sways away from the question, but I'm asking you now, right now, at this very moment, between you and I, and everything that's been going on these past few days or these past few weeks, are you are you content with where you're at? Well, yeah, I feel like I have I'm in the right path to what I want to do. Mm -hmm. I've just been slacking the semester. Like I, I have, you know, my grades aren't like crap or anything. But yeah, it's just like I'm like I'm on that line of B A, uh -huh. and if I continue to just kind of start messing up. I could potentially have a B, and that's gonna f with me. Yeah, badly. So I, I, I don't, I can't afford to have any more Bs. Mm -hmm. So that's just kind of that's my, that's my struggle this semester. Just how such a bad procrastination habit. Is but, it just one class or like various classes? Uh, it's all the classes, dude. This, this is the hardest semester I've had. So I have um, cell bio, organic chemistry. I tech is easy, but it's a, it's a pain. Mm -hmm. It's so much tedious work. Is it because the classes are complex, or because you are procrastinating with the classes? Because I'm procrastinating, bro. Those classes. It's a hard semester. I still have to put in the work, but I have more than enough time in the day. To yeah, do it. it's just me. So what do you what do you do with that time where you could be? Just the dumbest thing. Like I'll come home. Like yesterday, I came home and I was almost studying. As soon as I get home, mm -hmm. I started chilling for a little bit. and I got sleep and I'll take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> I laid, I took it off like an hour and a half and I got up and started just hanging out. And then I started looking at my headphones, mm -hmm. and that just kind of just wasted time and just more and more time. I ended up studying. Which, yeah. So you just but you just do random crap. Yeah, just random stuff. I'll get on it. Oh, Instagram not so much. Like I, I before I'd get on Instagram for hours. I'm just like, what the heck? Do well, not hours, but still waste time. It's a waste of time. Yeah. Do you think? I kind of remember we had this conversation a while back. How you said like you wanted to kind of. Well, I don't know if you said this, but like you said, like social media was definitely a big distraction. Oh yeah. Have you cut down on that? Because I remember it's it's been. A, I remember like we were working at the warehouse. And you said, yeah, social media. Or no, we, you were back in school. And you were like, yeah, social media's definitely been kind yeah. of Yeah, it's something that I cut back in time. Back, oh, I literally have cut back on it. But not just not, it's not like I'm cutting back on it to study more. It's just that I just don't have time. So it, I, just, I have to cut back on it. If I just manage my time better, I'll be in a good spot. But for the question, yeah, I am pretty content where I'm at. Overall, Overall you yeah. think you're satisfied with where you're, where you're mm -hmm. slowly taking things? Yeah, for sure. Okay. I'm not regretting what I'm doing on that doesn't feel off at it. Yeah. It's kind of like a second part to the question, but you're saying you're content with that, but like, what is it, what makes you feel that way? The fact that, like, what makes you happy to be in the position that you're at right now? Oh, well, what makes you happy? Well, a number of things, for starters, I just, I like science classes, I like learning out of the environment, I like the, this might sound weird, but I just like the stress that comes behind it and then the good feeling afterwards that mm -hmm. I, you know, I accomplish what I aimed at for. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I'm doing, I'm, 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 or overall, I'm doing really well in my, my classes. Mm -hmm. And, and just, just a good feeling, like, I remember last semester, uh, during finals week, I studied for, I remember, during finals week, it was just one week, that Tuesday, I studied for 12 hours for two exams. And I was so scared that, trying to get A's in both, mm -hmm. like, cause I was like A, like 90, like type of thing, 89, 90. Mm -hmm. And trying to get A's in both, I would end up getting B's in both, cause I just didn't put enough time. So instead of just like focusing on one class and guaranteeing A, mm -hmm. I tried to do both. And I was really scared of that, but then I got the A's. Mm -hmm. But afterwards, it was so worth it. Yeah. And I did not, I don't regret, like I, like I have, when I start, I get, I immerse myself into what, what I'm reading or, you know, studying and it's, it's not like a drag, it's not like, oh, uh, starting is kind of a pain, mm -hmm. but like once I'm in it, I'm just so intrigued and, especially with chem organic chemistry, yeah, that, that class is it's pretty awesome. So it's, it sounds like, it's from what you're telling me right now, it sounds like you're like very, in that, like, part of your happiness comes from the education. Yeah, learning, I just... 
I don't know. I, I have just this inside me, this feeling that just, and I do it. I'll do it still. Just I'll go a day without doing much, with, like with, with reading or studying, and I'm just like waste of time, and it gets to me. Yeah. Like, like that stresses me out. What you said, I remember you said like a while back too. Like as long as you do something productive every day, you said something along the lines of that, which yeah. is very true with anything. Yeah, just like. Like whatever, like I don't think education is like the way, the only way to be successful. There's thousands of ways. It's mm -hmm. just my way. Mm -hmm. And if you're just working towards something every day, literally, like it'll stack up in a year. You'll be so much closer to where you want to be. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just eventually it won't. Like I, maybe at first it'd be like little things, but eventually you just get so because mm -hmm. it becomes a habit. You just want to add more and more to it daily, and mm -hmm. it just becomes part of you. Another question that I have for you. What what's your drive? What motivates you? What's keeping you going? There's a number of things. One that always keeps my head is that, um, I, you know, as you know, I was I wasn't born here, mm -hmm. and although I didn't really experience like the hardships of Honduras, I'm very aware of what my life could have been. Yeah, uh, it was like in a matter of months we came here, and it's just it really could have gone the other direction. Mm -hmm. I could I could be there over there and just not know what it was like here mm -hmm. and my life would be completely different I just I feel like I've been handed this opportunity to to just be something big you know something big in life and with anything really because you know what I'm saying it's just many opportunities yeah, yeah, yeah. and I've just chosen you know the way I see success through education mm -hmm. and I, I'm pretty sure I told you this. I want to be a psychiatrist which is a former doctor and I want to um, it just besides treating people uh, with mental disorders, I want to uh, expand the what is it? The, the, the field? field, yeah, just the field. Like, find something new, mm -hmm. something just that will help. also like make your own discoveries. Yeah, yeah, just, you know, through research. Yeah, Shit. that's because that. I, no Honduran has ever won the Nobel Prize. I don't know if the Nobel Prize is something that like people would go for, or they just kind of do it. Like they're just. You know, they're focused on their work and then they do something great and then they're offered. I don't know if it's something that they both for it or it just kind of happens to be given to you. Mm -hmm. But no Honduran has ever won it. I don't really look that up. That's on your mind? Yeah. Shit, that's dope. But I mean, yeah, no more prize. Uh, that's, that's kind of, I'm trying to get through this semester. For right, sure. right, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's just, I feel like it's the best life achievement you can get yeah. as a human being. I don't know how people with mental disorders, you know, cure mm -hmm. it, treat yeah. it, prevent it. And I want to be like one-on-one -on -one with people mm -hmm. and just really really just find something that would just just help them as, mm -hmm. like, not just like through medicine you're not prescribing like, medicine something something different like find a cure for like yeah oh my because I don't really have too much um, like a vast knowledge in how the brain works but I know it hasn't been completely you mm -hmm. know um, discovered there's just so much left and mm -hmm. I don't know what if there's just something there's a way to just really almost like reorganize the brain to yeah. just which I, I remember I read a book and they were saying like what if we're like we think we're so ahead of time but like what if 80 or 100 years from now we realize that like us in, right now in the present like we were wrong about so many things you know what well, I mean like what would happen in the future no about how saying like oh we thought we were the most advanced that we could be like, I was thinking about it today, I was like, okay, yeah, like, you know, we've made it to Mars, but, like, 80 years from now, we're going to look at that, and it'll be so, like, minuscule, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like, 80 years from now, somebody's going to go to Pluto, you know? And it's the same thing with, like, what you're saying, like, sure, they've made many, like, they I mean, found many cures, and, like, with the brain and whatnot, but there's still so much mm -hmm. more. There's so much more in science that just can be discovered, and... I, I want to leave my print. Another question I had for all of you guys, and it's kind of like a question that's, I'm thinking about it more because like I hear y'all's answers and like even my answer is kind of like just basic. It's very basic, yeah. Like it's just a very basic, like I feel like all you guys kind of, we all kind of have the same <clears throat> answer to it. But I'm gonna ask you regardless, because who knows, you may throw something at me that's completely different from everyone else. But how would you define your success? Oh. I've thought about this so many times. Um, I don't know how many people see success as like rich, like having money, mm -hmm. but um, to me, success 
it's just different for each individual person. But everyone has their own success, whether it's music, school, uh -huh. filming, and you know whatever. I feel like it's there for everyone. Yeah. And I don't know whatever makes you just go wake up in the morning and just be like, you know, day number thousand thirty four or whatever, mm -hmm. and then just continue on mm -hmm. happily with no and not waking up. Like, Another another day of this mm -hmm. because if you're in that situation, on you gotta change something. Do you have a plan B? If I feel like, well, I don't know. This is my opinion, but I feel like you shouldn't have a plan B. Like, not not speaking mm -hmm. about you specifically, but like if you like, it sounds like you're so dedicated to just medical school, right? Yeah. So like for me, like if I was in your shoes, I'd be like, this is it. This is exactly what I'm gonna do. Yeah. This is what I'm gonna put my heart and soul into. And there is no plan B because everything else would just be mediocre. irrelevant, mediocre, exactly. So, but, yeah, but do you have a plan B? Yeah, I, think I gotta be realistic too, mm -hmm. I can't, yeah. Um, like my, my dad and my brothers kind of brought this to my attention that like, what if this doesn't work out? Mm -hmm. Like you can't pursue something that, that's so difficult to get in in the end, there's no jobs for it if you don't get into it. Mm -hmm. So I looked into it and yeah, there's many jobs you can get for my degree. Mm -hmm. um, it's a biology degree, but like I made um, specifically biochemistry, mm -hmm. and there's many jobs that all make good money with it. Another question. This is like a two-parter. I don't think I have. I don't think I have asked you. I, I've there's again. There's a lot of questions that I haven't asked you guys, which I'm amazed at. Um, and it's two parts. Um, the first part is, do you think we all have a purpose in life? And if you do, what do you think yours is? Purpose. Um, like everyone has their own role to play in their life? Yeah, like you were here, like you're here for a reason. You know what I mean? Like you have a purpose besides like, you know, the norms of society of, you know, uh, like, what, for example, like what, what you want to do, Psych you want to be a psychiatrist, but like, maybe there's something deeper behind that. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Kind of like a destiny type thing? Kind of, yeah, something like that. Uh, kind of. Right now, I haven't too thought, thought too deep into like someone's purpose in life. Mm -hmm. But destiny, yeah, for sure. I don't believe in destiny. I have a strong belief in the butterfly effect. I think I told you about this. Mm -hmm. That um, small things can like just like for example, perfect example with us. The fact that you, third grade, your class got moved into my class. Mm -hmm. Like that really could not have happened. The teacher really could have stayed at that school. Yeah. We, maybe we would have never cross paths after that moment. Mm -hmm. But that little thing just sprouted into just until everything. Now. Into now. Yeah, everything has happened with us until mm -hmm. this very moment right here. So it sounds like you're iffy on the whole if we have a purpose thing. It sounds like you're kind of split. Yeah, I haven't, yeah, I haven't really thought about like someone, uh, everyone has like, their own purpose like on this earth type of thing. I haven't really thought the too deep yeah. about that. But I feel like that does fall under the category of destiny. Mm -hmm. But no, I don't think I have a really straightforward or a straight answer for the purpose life, but mm -hmm. I guess the closest I could get to is the destiny. I don't believe in destiny. Yeah. I believe you can definitely choose your path. Some people, no matter what, just don't have the opportunities for it. They just don't have what it takes to get what they want. I, unfortunately, that's how Yeah, it which is. sucks. Yeah, yeah, it sucks a lot. But I'm sure there's just some genius somewhere in like a... Somewhere. Run down country that mm -hmm. just isn't going to get the opportunity. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I was thinking about that too. I was like, because like, we could use you as an example right now because we're, we're talking about you, but like, like, for example, let's say you become, for whatever reason, yeah, you do become a psychiatrist and you start, you know, um, learning more about the brain but your discoveries go unnoticed because nobody like they kind of like turn your shoulder on you mm -hmm. and then it's up until like it's up until you die that like all this stuff is found that uh, all this all these discoveries that you made mm -hmm. are finally recognized yeah you know what i mean yeah that's happened before in history too with like some people yeah like it just like to think like that could be you but like you're, you'll in a sense you'll kind of like die thinking that you failed mm -hmm. but your name is going to live on yeah. and you don't even know it you don't but know. But in the end, it's what I, it's what I wanted. My footprint in there. Mm -hmm. Whether I knew it or not. Whether you knew it or not. Right. Which, yeah. which I think personally sucks. Because I would like to oh, know. Yeah, that, that would be awful. But that's what, that was my goal. And yeah. I, I got there whether I knew it or not. Right. I died not thinking I failed. But in yeah. the end, I did mm -hmm. what, I, what I was trying to do. 
for humanity to uh, leave my footprint there. We were going to Walmart, or we're walking towards Walmart, right? And I think we were like fresh out of high school, like probably 18, 19, right? I forgot what we were, I, I was just a random day and we were handing out. And you asked me, and I was like, you asked me, you were like, where do you see yourself in five years? I do remember that. It was night time? No, it was during the day. I think we were, you were, it was like close to nighttime. I think it was close to nighttime. It was, was your answer day. part of it, your answer saying, have your car paid off by then? I don't know. I, I remember I said, I don't know, honestly, because like, I don't, I've always told you that I don't, I don't really think uh, that far ahead. Right, okay. But I remember you asked me that, and I was like, oh, maybe have, maybe have a girlfriend and uh, some other shit. Some other crap. Um, but at the time, I don't think I did. I think you told me too, but like it's been so long that I'm pretty sure it has changed. But you're 21, right? Five years from now, 26. What do you hope to have accomplished? Where do you see yourself? Uh, if you do actually see that far ahead. No, yeah, no, I definitely thought about every day, of my, every year of my 20, where I would be at. If mm -hmm. goes according to plan. Five years from now, I'd be in third year into medical school. Mm -hmm. And after medical school, there's um, this thing called residency. It's just specialization of the field you want to do. Mm -hmm. And that's for psychiatry, it's four years. So it's, another, so it's eight years? Yeah, so I got ten years until so I become an actual psychiatrist. However, I'll be getting paid after medical school. The last question for you, and again, this is very broad. Um, right now, we're not talking five years from now anymore. We're talking about uh, by the end of this year. What do you, like right now, what's, um, uh, like what's next for you right now? What's pending? What are you looking forward to within these past few, within these next few days, these next few months? What do you hope to, is there something that you want to accomplish by the end of this year? Oof, absolutely. Um, by the end of the semester, obviously, finish with all these. Mm -hmm. uh, winter break, I plan to do some volunteer work. Because mm -hmm. that's, 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 that's a requirement to get to medical school. It looks really good. Get a lot of hours. Oh, I'll probably get back in shape, yeah. Get back in shape? Yeah. Have you been doing that? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just got worse. <laughs> Dude. Hey, there's two months left though. I could do a lot of progress a in two months. A lot of two months, yeah, for sure. A lot, and just end of the year with a bang. Yeah. Yeah. Why, I mean, yeah. Not too late, man. But you know what's, f I mean, you'll, you'll see who I'm talking about, but a lot of these guys, um, when I asked them if they were, it's split. So far, I've gotten very split responses if, if you're content with your life or not. And it's, I felt like I hadn't talked to you in a while, so I kind of, I, I felt like you were, but it's nice, it's nice knowing that you actually are. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's actually, it, it, and rather than me just assuming that you are. Because I don't know if, until I ask you. No. But, um, that's it. I mean, any final thoughts? Any anything you'd like to say? Or? This is actually a pretty cool thing, dude. I know you're really into film, and mm -hmm. um, like I know this, like yeah, you haven't been really into it so much. And you know, the Marvin, the same with my sister. Like I, I try to talk, I try to just bark a flame into you, all of you guys, mm -hmm. and I feel like I get something, but then it just kind of dies down because I don't see much. I don't no, see it was much. Anthony, dude. A lot, a lot of this goes out to Anthony. Cause oh I yeah, he, he did tell me about that. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I told him I was like, dude, if it wasn't for you, I. I would have just still been waiting on Marvin. Yeah, I like, yeah. I, he I, told I, me about that, that, that talk you guys had. Yeah. It was good. Someone had to. I know, because like, I was just kind of I was just kind of like a sitting duck. I was just kind of like waiting for the moment. And you kind of realize the moment's never going to come. You just kind of have to make shit happen. Just do it. Yeah. Just do it.